the three-point seatbelt, Tesla's open car patents, and the polio vaccine. All three were creations that were shared freely, and all three changed the world. You could be just as impactful, albeit on a slightly smaller scale. How, you might wonder. By building on or remixing what others have created to generate new knowledge and ways of thinking. Now, you probably do that every day as a scholar and a teacher, but what if I told you that you could have a hand in creating your very own textbook for your classroom or for those around the world? This can happen through open educational resources, or OERs for short. Using OERs, you can mix and match ideas and information from OER textbooks, online courses, web pages, lesson plans, tutorials, journal articles, and many more to create your own OER textbook focused on your needs that can be shared with your students and educators around the world. Now, let's explore how you can do that. First, do you know where to find OER textbooks? If not, don't worry. Here's some options from the many that exist. Explore a few to learn which is most useful for yourself. We will start with this one. Now, within these, the search functions are similar to most search engines today. We will search for textbooks that you can tear apart and take from to build your own. Ah, here's one. Now, the question is, can we tear apart or change this textbook? Let's check out the Creative Commons licensing to find out. As long as we do not see the no derivative symbol, we are allowed to remix, break apart, and change it as we please within the textbook you are creating. You can take from and use any materials that allow derivatives and assemble your own textbook tailored to your class. You can use Google Docs, LA Text, Word, or your favorite word processor to edit the textbook you're creating. However, be mindful of each source's Creative Commons license as they may ask you to use similar licensing on your creations. A link to the Creative Commons licenses is in the description below. Now, once you have finished creating your OER textbook, you can upload it to an OER website such as Pressbooks where it can be viewed in many different formats, including PDF, e-reader compatible formats such as Mobi or EPUB, and others that are easily accessible to students around the world. However, you can also just use a simple Google document if that's preferable to you. Now, get out there and adapt a textbook and help spread your expertise to the world.